Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Thursday of the ninth week in Ordinary Time. So happy to be with you today and to share some thoughts with you as we journey of the end of the red phase going into the yellow. Also, I hope that you're well. Yesterday we had a nasty storm, didn't we? And I hope that you and your family are okay and that your property was free from any kind of damage. That could be very frightening. So my prayer is that you're safe and all those that you love are safe and your property. Everyone here at St. Mary Parish, we're doing fine, thanks be to God. No damage really. We had two trees that fell. One tree, a huge tree by the pond, it fell right onto the fence, that wooden fence, and one across the road at our auxiliary lot, a pine tree that fell. So tomorrow, our landscapers will be doing some heavy duty work. They'll be clearing out all the debris from uh, the campus that fell. And uh, they'll be also taking care of that tree across the road because that's a that's our auxiliary parking lot so we we need that cleared up anyway so and then I think we're going to tackle that big tree by the pond later it can't be all done in one day as you know it takes a couple days so we'll tackle that but we're safe and I hope that you're safe and I hope that your property is okay also I just wanted to tell you about the end of the school year do you believe that Tomorrow is the end of the school year for us here at St. Mary Catholic School. Wow. You know, the kids for the last, what, three months had to uh, undergo flexible instruction. You know, they had to go to school, but by the computer, virtual learning. They saw their teacher, they were in Zoom meetings, you know, you probably know what a Zoom meeting is. I had to learn all that, you know, where everyone's there and the teacher's giving instruction or they're having a faculty meeting, Zoom, or a school board meeting, Zoom. So the teachers use creative, flexible instruction to continue the lessons and the curriculum for their students. Because in those three months, so give or take a week or two, they had to continue following the curriculum and following instructions. And then how do we assess that? In other words, assessments are, how do we test it? How do we test their knowledge of the material? So it was really a big learning curve for the students and one for the teachers because they both, the teachers and the students alike, plus the parents, had never gone through that before. But as soon as it happened, they kicked right in gear. I'm so proud of them. Proud of our teachers. Proud of our students. They're so good. God bless them. They jumped right in and they adapted. I think kids could adapt better than we as adults, don't you think? I think children are more uh, able to be flexible in that area. That it's called flexible instruction. Than you and I, the resilient. And uh, because of that, much can be accomplished. And I think even in this pandemic, they're better from it. In other words, it's a bad situation, right? So how do you make a bad situation good? What, what good can you find from it? Because you always have to look for the good in any situation that is a struggle. The cross, what's the good? The resurrection, <laughs> right? So in any difficulty, we look for what do we learn? What's the life lesson that we can learn? And the teachers work them through that, help them through that, because it's an emotional time. You know, they're not with their friends. They're not going through school activities, school dances, th uh, sports games. You know, the kids love sports. Our gym, our hedge hall is used all the time. And it's so nice the kids are in there, they're laughing, they're playing, they're carrying on. Thank God we have something like that for them. Thank you, Father Hedge. You know, doing all that to making sure that the kids get their exercise, meet their friends. Well, Hedge Hall has been closed. So has the school. So 
they had to adapt, of course, by this flexible instruction by different means. So even the teachers, even the parents, everybody, hey, listen, even me, I'm coming to you via live stream, right? I'm coming to you through social media, celebrating mass that way. Can't hear confessions that way, right? We're not allowed. We have to, we have to have person to person for confession. And also these afternoon reflections, you make the best of it. But I just want to say to the kids, I'm sorry that you had some anxiety during these couple months, these few months of like how your, your whole school and learning was like topsy turvy. But thanks be to God, your teachers really helped you out and your mom and dad did too. They really came right to the forefront and said, here we are, we're with you. Let's do this together. Let's learn from this experience. Isn't that beautiful how parents can teach their children the positive out of a negative situation? What can we learn from it? So boys and girls in our preschool, we call that preschool Agnes Day Academy. So for those who are viewing, St. Mary's School has two divisions. We have a preschool, which is called Agnus Dei Academy. Agnus Dei is Latin for Lamb of God. So our little lambs, aren't they cute? The three and four year olds. Those teachers, oh, Debbie and Janelle, Dynamo. As Miss Bess says, they're superstars. All of our teachers are superstars. I think you have to have a special gift to work with the young ones. <laughs> People say you have to have a special gift to work with teenagers. <laughs> Maybe you have to have a special gift just to teach, right? Let's not classify people. Let's just say all of our teachers are essential workers and they are special to us. Teachers, thank you for all you do, all in this situation, how you brought our children to a beautiful close of the school year and how you really worked with them very well we appreciate it so very much. And I know the parents do. And the members of our community, they as well. So for the Agnes Day Academy, those three and four year olds, wonderful. And then our elementary division, K to eight. Thank you teachers for uh, everything that you've done seen and unseen and all the sacrifices that you have made and the, the extra mile you went in making sure that your children really understood the material and felt connected, felt connected to all of you. That's really a teacher. You know, it's not just writing on a board or putting up a slide. It's really connecting, you know? It's where the rubber meets the road. It's, it's really the meat of the matter. And it's, you have really done that exceptionally well. And we thank you very, very much. I'll be seeing all the students and the faculty and staff tomorrow virtually. I guess I won't be seeing them, so to speak, but they'll be seeing me uh, virtually at Mass. See, tomorrow is the last school Mass. So we're asking all the children, teachers, and staff to view it at 9 a.m. And uh, I'll be speaking uh, the homily to them. But the homily is really for everybody. Everyone could get something out of it, right? The homily is supposed to be like right in the middle where it could hit all age levels, male, female, children, adults, teens, something for everyone. And then uh, after communion, we'll be uh, doing my famous promotion. Grade one, you're now second grade. <laughs> you know, all that. So I'm happy to happy to be with them tomorrow. So I hope you, that you'll join in Holy Mass tomorrow. Tomorrow is the Feast of Saint Boniface. Boniface, he's the apostle to Germany. So um, someone who has been sent, you know what I mean? When we say apostle, especially after the 12, we, we speak of those who have been called and sent apostle. And Saint Boniface was a, a great, great leader for the people of Germany. So that's who's memorial we celebrate tomorrow and then tomorrow evening I'll be meeting with the eighth graders the graduates and their parents and I guess their siblings and now we're planning it to do it outside 
uh, at parking lot B. You know, parking lot B is the parking lot closest to the pond. Parking lot A is by the annex, you know, that, that side. So we're going to ask them to park on the annex side, parking lot A. We have those new signs. They tell you everything. They tell you who's who in the zoo. You know what I mean? It's where to find everything. So parking lot A is by the annex. Parking lot B is by the pond. And so we'll, we'll have them ask. Now, I don't know what the weather's gonna be tomorrow. You know, weather changes hour by hour. Sometimes it says it's gonna rain. And then during that section of time, the sun's out. So we have no idea, but we're keeping close watch on it and we'll be informing our graduates and their parents where the location would be if we have to go to Hedge Hall instead of outside. So we're ready for both. Uh, and that's what we want to do. So that's, that's kind of a beautiful, beautiful way to end. I hope we're out, outside, but if we're inside, we'll make the best of it as well. So that's for the eighth grade graduation tomorrow, tomorrow night. Do you know this is the 58th graduating class of St. Mary Catholic School in Schwanksville, Pennsylvania. The 58th graduating class of St. Mary Catholic School. I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them because, you know, listen, they're eighth grade. And there's a lot of like last for the eighth grade, like their last dance or their last game or their last uh, event, like they go to Washington or their last uh, something that they do together as a group. Uh, and unfortunately, because of the pandemic, uh, that had to, of course, be canceled because we didn't we don't want to harm each other by any kind of infection or the virus right this coronavirus and that hit our world and everything had to be put on hold but we love you eighth graders we love you for who you are and how resilient you are how you bounce back to the occasion and you make the best of the situation and you know what you're better people you're better people because of Anytime we go through a difficulty, we come out, we could, we bounce out, up, and we were better for it. Sometimes people say, oh, I don't like all this cross, the aggravation of the cross, but the cross really sanctifies us. You know, the cross sanctifies us. You know what that means? The cross makes us holy. The cross makes us strong. The cross makes us more aware of people other than myself, people around me. I get to know life a little bit better and growing up a little bit. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had to endure all that. And I know because I know all of you are St. Mary school children. And because of that, I know of what you're made of. And I thank you. I thank you for your kindness, your love, and your getting up and doing this, getting your school work done, completing your eighth grade elementary years, and now moving on to high school. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, congratulations. Congratulations to wherever you go. I wish you the blessings of Almighty God. I wish you the powerful intercession of our Blessed Mother. She's named after our parish and our school. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors in your high school. But remember, this is your parish, this is your home, all right? You're not leaving us, are you? No. You know, people say, oh, you know, they're graduating. Yeah, they're graduating from a school. They're not graduating from a parish, are you? You know, unless you're moving out of the area, you're, this is still your home, this is still your parish, this is where you're spiritually fed, right? So on Sundays, you come here to receive the word of God and to take that word of God in, you receive the Eucharist and Christ makes you strong through his very body and blood. You receive his risen glorified body. You become another Christ in this world. Your eyes, your hands, your feet take you into the world and you're imbued by God's grace with his body and blood. So many good things, many blessings to you, 
and all those you come into contact with. So today, as we prepare for tomorrow, and as we get ready, let's pray for one another. Let's pray for our students as they end their school year. Let's pray for our graduates as they end their time here at St. Mary Catholic School and go into high school. And let's pray as we go into the restricted phase or the yellow phase of going back to Sunday Mass. It's happening this weekend, right? This weekend is Trinity Sunday. That's what we celebrate on the liturgical calendar, the Solemnity of Trinity Sunday, that we believe that there is only one God and that God manifests himself in three divine persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But we have to be very careful that these are not functional jobs. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, God the Father does this. God the Son does this. God the Holy Spirit does this. We have to be very careful that we do not make them functional beings. When we say divine persons, we're saying divine persons. We're not saying human persons, right? And when we're using that word divine persons, we have to be very careful that we don't always associate it with a divine person as you and I would think. They're divine. Now, Christ is both human and divine. Isn't that beautiful? Fully human, fully divine. One, the one person of Christ. He is God in all respect, right? He's God. And at the same time, he's fully human. Go figure that one out. Isn't that, isn't that interesting that God, Jesus Christ, is fully human and fully divine? So that's why I say we have to be very careful not to try to put these persons, the divine persons, into a category or boxes or make them do functional things. Let them be who they are and we enter into the mystery of their personhood, the personhood of the Trinity, God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's this week and that's what we celebrate. So on behalf of everyone here at St. Mary's Parish Office Center, I want to offer all of our students a wonderful congratulations that you have gone through this year, especially during this pandemic. I congratulate you. We all do. And we also pray for you. We pray for your continued good success and good health as you go through the summer and as we come back in the fall or in late August. And everyone here at the Parish Office Center wishes our graduates the same. Congratulations. The best of luck to you as you enter into high school. Have a great summer. Enjoy yourself. And remember, God is always first. God should always get the first cut of every day. And then we can have the rest. But give God the glory, right? Give God the glory first. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your day. And may God's peace be with you.